I've ever driven a tractor in real life? Uh, yes. Once. When I was a very naughty boy. <laughs> in okay, other words... I, we need to know this story. In now. other words, I shouldn't have been driving that tractor. <laughs> um, well, the story is, I was about... Oh my god, how old was I? 13? Maybe? And, um... A friend of mine somehow acquired a master key to, um to the um, machine, like the, the, the JCB equipment. I don't know where he wow. got it from. I have no idea to this day where he got it from. But uh, of course, having a key and not having a lock to put it in is a bad thing. So we then proceeded to try and find places where the lock would, you know, the key would fit. Where the key would fit, yeah. So, I don't know if you've been near St. Helens, but between Manchester and Liverpool, there's a, a big road called the East Lanks Road. A, A580 I think it is and just where the junction is to St Helens there was a, a lot of roadworks going on and there was a big fenced off area um, where all the machinery was kept overnight like all the big equipment and there was a tractor in there for one oh, aye, aye, aye. So, oh, you thought you'd jump in it so we basically uh, hogged over the fence as it were <laughs> put the key in Turned the key, and to our utter amazement, this thing started. And um, I then proceeded to put my foot down and wheeled the tractor. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, in our utter excitement of just got driving this thing around the yard, we then uh, realised there was actually a dog inside this, a security dog inside this uh, area. So we very quickly turned it off, and. Um, Climbed back over the fence and left quickly. So we didn't get caught. Uh, we didn't get caught that day, anyway. <laughs> Wait, there's more? There's more to this story, unfortunately. Squirrel was a rebel when he was young. Oh, I was a little bit. <laughs> I was a little bit. The things you don't know. No, I didn't steal the tractor. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I did went, not steal the tractor. I had a joyride inside the yard. Um, the tractor never left the compound. It was not stolen. It was just a quick ride. It was just borrowed for a few minutes. <laughs> and obviously, I think the next day we went back and they'd obviously realised that this tractor had mysteriously moved itself. And then they basically put more dogs and security examiners in there, so we never went to there again. I think it caught in the end, Connor. Hmm. The story of how I how we lost that master key, I think I'll save for another day. Because <laughs> that really was my, quite dodgy. <laughs> my guess is that you were in a tractor and then possibly someone came running after you, so you liked it. Oh, it was a lot worse than that, Steve. Oh, okay. It was a much bigger piece of machinery than a tractor. Oh, God. And yes, we got, just, <laughs> yes, we got chased. I could just see you driving like in St. Helens, like you know, one of those big coal extracting digger thingies, <laughs> like driving down the road in one of them. <laughs> does this key work in here? Oh, yes, it does. Off we go. It Brum. did. That, it really was a master key. It was amazing. Wow. Quite scary. That key fit more things than it should have done. I wouldn't say I was a good boy, Sam. I was just saying I never got caught. <laughs> <laughs> He was that good, he never yet I never did anything really bad. What I would call teenage fun. <laughs> teenage fun stealing a tractor. I didn't well, steal! Sorry, Where are you getting this from? Oh my god! A tractor. How has this become stealing? I got in a tractor and I'm I wheeled it in the yard and I left it there. I didn't steal anything. Alright, joyride in a tractor. Jeez, no, I'm definitely not going to tell you about the second story. <laughs> who knows what that'll get merged into. Okay, joyriding the tractor. Oh, aye, 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 aye. Pit below with 100 bits. Paul, now you have to tell us the other story. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's for another day, Pit below. The people who worked on the side of the road were mystified. Yeah, I, I always wonder later in life, I sort of sat down and thought about that and thought I bet mean, they wondered what happened they go back to the yard and suddenly the tractor is not where they parked it and it's like on the other side of the yard I'm thinking what the heck like Jeff did you move this did you not park it like yeah I definitely put it over there 
Well, it's moved. Wait, there's a Steven in the tractor, and there's... Did, did you see that, guys? Oh. There was... Literally, there was two of you. There was one stood by the header, and there was one stood in... And there was one driving the tractor. That was so weird. Oh, aye, 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 aye. Morph with a hundred bits. Evil nutter at... Whoa! Oh, rip. <laughs> literally reading, reading a message on the screen. Look at Sommy. All right, Sommy is too busy reading chat. Uh, Morph, even though at work, just convinced my We're new nephew making straw bales are, are how Weetabix are made. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly timed, that one, Morph. Is that the pink tractor? No, it's not the pink tractor because she didn't go off the edge. Damn it. It's not a pink tractor. Come on. No, I know. I, I, if you'd have gone off the edge, though, in true, like, squirrel style, like, I don't know, kamikaze, and then over the edge, then, yeah, that would have been funny. <laughs> He's gone left as well. That's not good. <laughs> Why did he that go left as well? That trailer. I don't get it. I see he went right, didn't he? Yeah, he went, went left. right. You went left. Yeah. I had a 50 50 chance of escaping that one. Uh huh. That's two. <laughs> Are you doing what I do on my stream? Every time I get an oops, I have a little notification come up. Uh, but if I get four whoopses, then it becomes a one oops. So, is that two whoopses for you? That's, uh, that, that's definitely a couple of whoops. <laughs> I love these, um, these clip names it comes up with. Mm -hmm. Twitch.tv slash energetic, energetic wi wimpy pox cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> Why does it just come this? It's just brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's an energetic wimpy cat that's got chicken pox, but it's cool. So yeah, if you reverse into where that grass is or something, or reverse into a, into there, press Y first. Why? Yeah, just press Y. Why? Because it'll unload. But Why? Then it, well, it it won't unload fully. It'll only unfold, and then you press Y again to unload fully. Why? Yes. Why? It's for yes. Yeah, but why? Z. X, Y, and Z. This is going to clip into the roof here. Oh, I told you, Steve. <laughs> I told you that was going to happen. Yeah. That's Steve? why I said unload it first and then reverse in. No, you said press Y, so You asked did. Y and I told you Y. You said press Y, so I did. Yeah. And I but said Y, and you said yeah. yes, Y. But you needed to do it before you reversed into the building. So you, you need never to pull said that. Forward. You need I did, I said press Y. There you go. Oh wow, they're, they're perfect placement then. It's only as good as yours. What? I've still got mine attached to the trailer. Look, you see, Thank you, you can much. reverse back now and push mine into yeah. place, can't you? Or I can do it myself. No, leave it, you'll knock them all over, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, let's not touch that. That's not a good <laughs> idea. It's like playing Jenga. You need to use your <laughs> wall of bales to push my wall of bales. But did I or did I not say press Y before you even started reversing? It was really confusing. You just kept saying Y, so I pressed it. <laughs> even when you asked why it. you pressed Y, you went Y. Because you weren't listening. It's always my fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, lined up, though. Yeah. I don't care. You're <laughs> farming on your own next week. Uh, that's just clipping through. That's clipping through. What the heck? How does that work? Oh wait, no, it's pushing that one back now. That is weird. Yeah, it is weird. You've got bales in bales, though. Yeah, I can't go back any further now, though. No, you can't. You've hit the roof. I haven't hit the roof. I'm nowhere near it. What do you mean you're nowhere near it? You're hitting the roof. The roof is on fire, okay? That is so bizarre, though. Oh, that tree's in an awkward place. But I shall have it. I shall have your tree. If you will be mine. Yeah, three more, possibly four. Even in the middle of synchro hype. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nordic Night Fury. Forgot to say earlier, I saw your logo on a tree pruning truck. Didn't know you were a tree surgeon IRL. Neither did I, Nordic. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's not been designing logos and has actually been nicking somebody else's. Well, I have to say... Um, 
custard. I have to say that that logo there is blatantly stolen. <laughs> like, if that isn't my logo slapped in the middle of really tacky red squirrel tree surgery, I don't know what it is. That is, that is painfully obviously my logo. You could actually write to them and get that changed. Yeah. So look at the artwork, right? You've got this. Like, quality squirrel logo. That that logo is hard to design. I know, because I sat there for two days doing that logo. And then you've got this tacky, like, with Microsoft Word, red squirrel. And, oh, here's some GIF leaves <laughs> that I got from Word Art and slapped them on. Here's my logo! Like, really? Come on. <laughs> like, the the middle bit just doesn't sit with any of, any of the rest of it. It's so obviously put together, like, assembled. Red squirrel from Word... Leaves from the art, from clip art, and then yeah. my logo in the middle is, is literally what that is. Click on the uh, click on the Vrome eight point one link. They have actually got them on their vans. Wow. Yeah. And on their t-shirts. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Send them some caps, Paul. <laughs> Holy cow! They've put it on the side of the yep. van. And that's what I just said. They've got it on the vans, they've got it on the t-shirts. Send them a couple of caps and say, here you go, have some caps. You know, as soon as you've stole my logo. That's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. Crikey. <sighs> so the question is, can I be bothered? <laughs> That's the real question. Like, I don't really want a court case, but I mean, that's a bit ridiculous. Take my logo and put it on your van. Nice, GG. They're based in London. I could actually drive round there and just go... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, where'd you get your logo from? Do you want to show me where you uh, commissioned that artwork? <laughs> uh, thank you for seven months approved, Coma. And Judge Jeff. Oh, yeah. Judge Jeff. 24 months, Judge Jeff. Golden Acorn hype. What does he put? 24 months, two years of supporting the channel. He gets his golden acorn, and what does he put in his message? Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put something creative? It's your two year anniversary, dude. Two years anniversary. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Oh, man. <laughs> Judge Jeff. That's, that's, he might still be looking for the message. He might be like, Hello. My message has disappeared. He might be. <laughs> Judge Jeff, thank you for two years support, bro. That is amazing of you. Enjoy the golden acorn because you've earned it. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Thursday's stream. How are we all doing? Are we all well? I don't know about you, but if you live in the UK right now, I can honestly say it is hot. <laughs> it is really warm. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, can yeah. we have an AV check to get us going here? AV, 10 out of 10. Yay! Denmark's hot as well. I don't know. Let me have a look what the temperature is. It is pretty warm. Chelmsford, sunny, 23 Celsius. It feels like a lot more. 28 on Saturday. Oh my god. Anyway, let's say hi to uh, Steve. Hey. Hey. How are we doing? Apart from sweating and melting, yeah. you know, it's like 30 degrees here. It says 27 degrees now, but it's been highs of 30 today. Just 28. honestly. It's a 28 lie. 28 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> it is a lie. I mean, I, I think it's probably more like 26, 25 degrees, but it's still goddamn warm. It's too warm, man. Too warm. <laughs> we're proper British. You can tell we're British because we, we complain when it rains, we Absolutely. complain when it's cold, and we complain when it's warm, you know. The only time we shut up is when it's around about 18 or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and people go, oh, it's a nice day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's getting a lovely day. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't know about you, but I don't speak like that, you know. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's all those, those little old ladies that you meet down the shop. They go, yeah. we ain't taking a lovely day in love. <laughs> yeah. Sat at the bus stop. No, you're right, Dead Mouse. I don't actually care about the weather on Saturday down here. You're very, very true. Yeah. Um, here comes Mutley. Oh, my God. <laughs> what on earth is that? That is actually track fed. Uh huh. Is that a Renault? That's got to be a <laughs> Renault. Probably. He's actually enjoying that, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Is he's he got a roll cage and everything. 
That's for him. That's purposely for him. For if he tips it over, he's nice oh, and safe. Yeah, yeah. Is he going to say that that is the, um, the the new pink tractor or something? I've no idea, that, but I'm not driving that. Is that the punishment tractor? That is actually quite an interesting vehicle. It is, but I'm not driving it. You're not driving <laughs> it. Look at the beams from the headlights. I you know. know. You can tell it's been graphically done. Yeah, thought those beams are a little bit artificial. Yep. That actually reminds me, I don't know if you saw the... Um, uh, Vrome basically... I don't, can you see my stream? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Because Vrome posted, posted um, some pictures of a tractor that drove up his road, and it looks like that one, though. So I'm just right, going to okay. bring it up on the, on the uh, stream. I don't know if I'm you can see it. Open it up now. But you posted some pictures of, of uh, this was today, of oh, yeah. a, a tractor that went down the road today and stopped right outside his house. Oh, wow. And the registration plate is like one OAP. <laughs> <laughs> but you see the B for Belgium, though? Yeah, yeah. But it actually looks... Look at the size. Yeah. It's like the, the width of the tires is like nothing. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's got old style beacon on the back as well. They're really, really old school tractors, but they're pretty cool. Like it, they came down oh, the yeah. road and then just stopped, and then and he just went outside and started taking photos. I mean, just think how easy though they are to maintain because everything's in the open. You know, there's no fairings, there's no covers, there's nothing. All you have to do is just take something off, and you've got access to everything. I'm just on yeah. looking at the plate on the side, and it says PS twenty two, which I assume is the uh, horseback, like the. Power, um, could be, yeah. 22 horsepower truck uh, tractor. Could be. This is crazy. I think that's gross weight, two and a half tons. Can you imagine 22 horsepower pulling two and a half tons of weight? <laughs> I mean, really, the power to weigh on that. But there's a, a little video where you can hear it. Um, and honestly, this is rep headphone users. So you have been warned because it's quite loud engine. But you can hear it running. What's the zero fuel weight and block fuel cap up? <laughs> yeah, proper old school engine. That engine tick over is just so smooth though. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Turn on the Oh my god! Well. Rip a Rooney on toast. I just turned and all of my bales just clipped through the um, the fence. Lol. Seriously, I mean that's just nuts. I'm not even sure what we're doing first to be honest. I think it was corn or something seeding. Corn, yes. Field seven. I've wrote it down and I had to look. Motley. So, yeah, field Motley. seven corn. Mo don't you do it, Motley. <laughs> don't you Stood do there it. With the chainsaw. <laughs> I can see the tree moving. Get away from that tree, Mutley. Oh, there he goes, look. Get away from that. <laughs> I'm entitled to be here, I'm a squirrel. Don't you do- Oh, he's already cut it! You scumbag! <laughs> you complete scumbag! <laughs> Come here, you. Don't you run away from me. <laughs> Don't you run away from me, Mutley, you utter scumbag. All, all we need now is the Benny Hill music. I'll take it a shortcut. We'll run him over later. Now look at the look at the ladder. I like. I was gonna say I like how the ladder just stays there where it is. It's like you know defying the laws of physics, just floating on a scumbag. You're a scumbag, Mutley. Yeah, Connor, they've not replied about that. You heard about that, Steve? They copyrighted copyright claim on a video oh yeah I, yeah i saw the one that you tweeted out no honestly you, you should hear the clip like it, it's absolutely genius the clip it is the yeah there's a, they've been doing it to a lot of big youtubers though it's the same company oh yeah merlin but the thing yeah. is it's it i can't describe it it says play the clip that's been contested and you click play and imagine the camera outside and explain and all you can hear is like that Lol. and me talking <laughs> and they're trying to copyright the <laughs> what is going on they are actually taking the mic it's hilarious but surely surely if they've done it to a lot of 
like YouTubers, why have why have YouTube not acted on it and said, hold on, you're bringing all these false claims? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, apparently this Merlin, what they do is they put in the claim, and then um, because a lot of smaller YouTubers they expect not to like to just get scared and go, oh okay, I'm too frightened to contest it. Because when you contest it, the messages that come up on YouTube are pretty scary. Like they right. they pop up and say. Warning: Are you absolutely sure that you have the right to con to contest this? Uh, if you if you don't have the rights, uh, an illegal dispute could could result in a copyright strike against your channel. It's like really strongly worded. So a lot right. of the smaller channels are like, oh my god, and they click cancel, and that's what they're relying on. They're relying on the fear. So I've contested yeah. it. So apparently, what Merlin then do is they refuse the dispute, which then yeah. automatically puts a copyright strike on your channel. Right. So then. I'll get a copyright strike on the channel and then I won't be able to upload videos longer than 10 minutes and then yeah. I can test it, I appeal it and it'll take up to 30 days to appeal and then it will get overturned, I'll get my copyright strike revoked and guess what happens to them? Yeah. Nothing! Yeah. Nothing at all happens to them <laughs> and that's why right. they do it. By because... the way, before you start seeding, don't. Why, because you want me to change crop? To call. I, I may have done the wrong seed. <laughs> Um, what are we doing? Um, Courtly, can you go around the outer edge? I, I may have seeded the wrong seed. Uh, Jules with 100 bits. I hate Tom Katz because he peed on my scooter cover. Huh? I'm not sure I understand <laughs> that, Jules. And then 100 bits, he missed my last bit. I just read it. I just read it. I didn't understand it, but I read it. <laughs> 